now let us discuss about error detection and correction we know that sender sends a message to the receiver during transmission there may be a possibility that some of the bits of the frame will be corrupted corrupted means changed we know that frame is a combination of zeros and ones so few zeros will be converted to ones few ones will be converted to zeros so the sender will sends one message whereas the receiver receives another message because of frame corruption so this is called as error we can control the errors by using two ways the first way is error detection the second way is error correction so first let's see what are the different types of errors we have three types of errors single bit error multiple bit errors and the third one is burst errors single bit error means only one bit will changes during the transmission from the sender to the receiver so let the sender sends this message whereas receiver receives this message if you observe the receiver message the first three bits are same whereas the fourth bit is changing from 1 to 0 whereas the last two, two bits are same okay so only one bit changes so this is called as single bit error so here the frame is corrupted and the second one is multiple bit errors so multiple means two or more so two or more bits changes so let the sender sends this message whereas the receiver receives this message if we observe this message the first two, two bits are same whereas the third bit is changing from 0 to 1 uh, next 4 and 5 bits are same whereas the last bit is changing from 0 to 1 so this is called as multiple bit error so multiple bit error means two or more bits will changes so two or three or four multiple bits will be changes and the third one is burst error uh, here also burst means two or more but here the bits are consecutive bits so two or more consecutive bit changes so let the sender sends this message whereas receiver th receives this message if we observe the receiver message so here the first bit is same 0 0 whereas second bit is changing second bit is changing next uh, next to two bits same 0 1 0 1 whereas the next bit is changing from 1 to 0 and the last bit is 0 so if we observe here how many bits got changed so second bit is changes as well as fourth bit changes fifth bit changes this is called as burst so here the first bit that is changed is zero whereas the last bit is this zero so this entire length this is called as a burst burst means consecutive bits so consecutive bits means uh, not sequential bit so we have to focus we have to compute based upon the first bit and last bit so this is the first bit in this burst and this is the last bit in this burst so here the length of this uh, error is 4 bits length of this error is 4 bits okay uh, now let's see what is error detection uh, error detection will be done at the receiver side sender sends a message to the receiver so receiver will checks whether is there is any error or not so we can say that error detection will be done at the receiver side so the receiver will checks whether the frame has any errors or not whether the received frame has any errors or not without knowing about the original message here the sender is sending the message but the receiver doesn't know what is the original message that is sent by the sender so without knowing the original message sent by the sender the receiver needs to detect the errors so in order to do that uh, some extra bits extra bits are called as redundant bits extra bits are known as redundant bits some redundant bits will be appended to the corresponding frame so this is called as error detection error detection means uh, receiver will checks whether the frame has whether the received frame has any errors or not 
without knowing about the original message without knowing about the original message uh, so here uh, receiver will checks whether is there is any error or not but it doesn't know in which position there is a error so for that purpose we uses error correction error correction means in which position we got the error so that bit position that exact bit position will be determined as well as it will be corrected so that is about what is error correction so error bits error bit position will be identified okay if you observe here so 1 2 3 4 in fourth position we got the error if you observe this one in third position in seventh position we got the error if you observe this one so in these four positions there is error okay so that bit position will be identified as well as it will be corrected so first let's see how error detection will be done at the receiver side so here we have sender and the receiver so sender sends a frame so sender is sending a frame uh, here two algorithms are used at the sender side generator or generating function will be used whereas at the receiver side checker or checking function will be used so at the sender side generator or generating function algorithm will be used at the receiver side checker or checking function will be used so here sender is sending a frame here frame here here we have generator or generating function algorithm which is useful in order to generate redundant bits which so what is the task of generator generator generates redundant bits some extra bits okay so in order to generate extra bits or redundant bits this generator is used okay so based upon the frame generator generates redundant bits okay next uh, next that redundant bits redundant bits or extra bits will be appended to the frame so here we have frame plus frame plus redundant bits so here generator generates redundant bits so those redundant bits are appended to the frame and this message will be transmitted to the checker that means receiver so here what the checker will do uh, checker based upon the redundant bits based upon the redundant bits checker will checks that message is original message original frame or corrupted frame so here here also checker or checking function algorithm makes use of the redundant bits in order to check whether that frame has corrupted or it is original suppose if the frame is correct then what will happen that frame will be transmitted to the receiver suppose if the frame if the frame is corrupted then it will be discarded if the frame is corrupted it will be discarded whereas if the frame is correct then it will be transmitted to the receiver so here in order to check in order to detect whether the frame has any errors or not we have four mechanisms are there four algorithms are there so error detection is done with the help of four approaches the first approach is checksum the second approach is parity check parity check third approach is crc crc stands for cyclic redundancy check and the fourth one is hamming code so by using these four algorithms uh, we can check whether uh, whether that frame has any error or not so that will be done th these algorithms will be used at the receiver side okay uh, next what is error correction error correction will also be done at the receiver side so error correction means receiver determines the exact position of the error and it also correct it it also correct it so for that also it uses various error correction codes various error correction codes the most popular one is hamming code the most popular algorithm is hamming code so here the hamming code is useful for both error detection as well as error correction suppose if the receiver identifies uh, that frame has an error then receiver ask the sender to retransmits that frame once again so now sender retransmits 
the frame once again and if you want we can also use hamming code in order to correct the corresponding errors okay so already uh, four videos uh, four video four videos are uploaded on checksum uh, parity check crc as well as hamming code i will share uh, these four video links in the description as well as comments okay so we use these four algorithms for error detection and hamming code for the error correction so this is about error detection and correction